Attack is a site where you can create a multimedia project. You can bring in media from all over, videos, pictures, text, website links, um, even document links. And it would set it up almost like you're creating a website. And then you can take this and share it out with people or you can embed it into your own website. So let's get started. I'll show you a quick overview. You do not need a username. But anything you create without a username would only be available for seven days and then it gets deleted. Um, you can log in for free with any email address or you can log in with your Google account. You'll see all the social medias that you can log in through when you go to create the account. Um, I tend to log in with my Google account because it's just easier. Then I don't have to remember another password. So when you log in, this is what it's going to look like. If you want to start, you can look around at what other people have made by looking at the um, staff picks or the featured. You can search something through the search box. So if you were looking for something on animal adaptations, you can click on it and you can click on the options of what people have created. So some are student created, some are teacher created. Um, we'll just look at this one quick. This was a fourth grade project that someone had created. So they drew up the project on TAC and then they sent it out to their students so they knew what they had to do. It tells them the requirements, which is nice that you can link to any website you want them to use. And here's a button for them to go to that site. It tells them when it's due. So you see how it's set up like a website almost? Um, there's pictures here to show them how to use it. You can start your project. Here's an example of the project. She put some information here to help them with their animals. Um, and then there's other hints down here, okay? So this is a teacher-created project. So here would be an example of a student project. So she's having her student create them on this website. And they have to put a title. She made up this organism. Um, they have to put pictures of the habitat, which is nice. They can tell where the habitat is and then do a little slideshow of pictures of their habitat. You can embed a map. You could, here's another picture. And I keep scrolling down. You'll see all the things that this student had created. Okay. And then you can turn off the comments or you can leave it on for your class so they can comment on each other's projects. So how you can use it is you would start off by clicking on this green square with the pencil and you could just go into oh this is when I started hold on let me go back to the beginning so if I'm here I'm gonna click on this green pencil and go to blank canvas. Okay, so if I was editing one, it would be on the top, continue editing, and then it asks what kind do you wanna create. You can create a Valentine's Day tag, a blank canvas, whatever you want. So I'm gonna choose a blank canvas, and this is what it will look like. All of my editing tools will be on the right-hand side, and in the middle um, will be what I'm adding. So we start off by selecting your colors, which is always fun, so you can choose any of these colors here, scroll down, whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna go with blues for this one. So I'm gonna choose my colors, and then I'm gonna go to the fonts. I can choose what font I wanna type in. The next one would be patterns. I can choose a pattern for my color. There's all the design features that you can do. Just scroll down and you can play around with them. It will just keep putting the last choice on top of the old one. So I'm gonna go with this one. So already it's looking pretty good, right? And now I'm going to click on the A for the font. I'm gonna choose my font now. Let's just go with this one. And I'm gonna go over to the middle and this is where I'm gonna choose what I wanna put in this box. So this is gonna be my headline box. So I'm gonna choose the first choice and I'm just gonna type in Oops. Okay, so I'm just, you would put your project name here. Anything that you type will get a gear next to it where you can change the color if you would, if you choose. 
you can change the alignment or you can trash it if you decide you don't want it. You can add more text to this box if you wanted and you could just type your message here. So you might want to put your directions for your students here. Or students can write an overview of what they're doing here. And then you can continue adding anything you want into this box. You can now add a photo. So if you click on photo, you can upload a photo from your computer, you can take one from Instagram, or you can get a URL from a photo. So let's just upload one from my computer. I'll just take this one, because it opened up right away, and I'm gonna press open. You could have just dragged it and dropped it into there. Oh, so this is a pretty big picture. <laughs> you can add a caption to it if you want. You don't have to, and when you're done, you can press done. Um, you'll notice if you decide to not have this, you can just press the trash can and delete it. So let's try that again. It's going to open up. I'm going to open up my pictures. Here we go. Just going to open it on top. I'm just going to use one of these sample pictures this time. And I'm going to drag it over and just drop it into there. So it's kind of cute. You can just put a picture there. When you're done, you just press done. If you want to add something else, you just choose from here. If you want to add a video, you go to video. Now, I, they're going to show you some um, supported sites that you can use, but if you click on this, it's just going to open a random YouTube video. So if you want, you want to open YouTube, get to the video that you want. Um, I had it already opened. And then I'm going to go down to the share button and copy this URL. Then I'm going to go back to my project and I'm just going to paste that URL into here and it's going to embed that video automatically right onto the site. So now I have a video. Okay, I could have a picture, I can have a video, I can also add audio. So if I want to get a URL to the audio, I can just get it from SoundCloud or Spotify and put it in here and it's going to add that. Um, music right to the site. Okay, so you could do music, you could just add a button, or we can do a map. So a map, just type in where you want it to go. So let's just say we want to go to, um, let's see if it will take us right to the Empire State Building. So it does take you over there, but what you're going to need to do is just zoom in you wanted this area of Manhattan, right? So you could open that up, zoom it out so students can see where you would be heading, and just leave it there. Students can zoom in and out of the map as well. Okay, so I just press add map and it puts it in there. So now I have a map, a video. So you see how this could easily create a multimedia project. If I had chosen this button, um, you're just gonna, it's basically just linking to a website. So if you wanted the students to go to, and then you're gonna apply this. I'm gonna click on here, and it will just bring me right to that website. Um, I wanna edit this, customize your button, so I'm gonna press the settings, and I'm gonna click on the button. Um, I'm gonna click on the pencil, I'm sorry. And then it doesn't even look like you could do this, but if you highlight this text, you can type your text here. So you could do that even before you press apply. I just forgot to do it. But you can always go back and do it through the gear, the picture of the gear. And then just press apply. So I probably wouldn't type your text here. I would type click here to go to Braid Pop. And then apply. So, so far we've covered a headline, te just adding text. You can add a photo, a video, music, a button, which would be a link to a website, a map, and then these things you're probably not gonna use. This is for selling. If you're using this as a website for a store, we're not gonna have the kids fill out any forms, media, I'm not doing that, and RSVPs if you're sending this out as like an invitation. 
Another thing that I get a little nervous about is leaving comments open because I can't really control what the students write on here. So I tend to shut the comments off, at least when I'm first starting this site. So I'm gonna go up here to options and it's gonna give me some um, options. <laughs> One of them would be the comment stream and I'm gonna, it's enabled right now, I'm just gonna turn it off. And then like another silly thing that's here is rounded corners. If you like it rounded better, just check that off. You can personalize your URL um, by just typing it in here what you want it to be. And then you can make it public or private. So the last part would be to press publish. You cannot share this unless you publish it. So as a student, they would have to press publish and then they would have to sh send the link over to their teacher to see what they had worked on. As a teacher, you would press publish and then share the link for students to view it. So once I press publish, sorry, Hold on, it's publishing. It does also auto save, which is nice um, because whatever I had done is gonna automatically save. It might not publish it, but I can always go back to it and edit it in case my computer shuts down or they have to go somewhere, um, it auto saves. So now that I'm in TAC, it's gonna give me all these areas I can share to. So f what we're gonna do is just take the URL and you can write this down for your teacher if you're a student or if you're a teacher, you can email it to your students or you can post it on your um, website for them to see. And that's really it. So I think it's a pretty easy way to create a pretty cool looking project, right? All right, well have fun. Remember it's called tac.com.